you are up super early tomorrow, you have the chance to see the Ring of Fire solar eclipse. The eclipse will be partially visible from New England. So we have a chance. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying. <laughs> if you wake up early. <laughs> the moon will pass between the Earth and the sun, blocking all but the sun's outer ring, creating a spectacular sight. WBC meteorologist Sarah Robleski shows us when and how to watch. Early birds, get ready. Starting at 5.07 Thursday morning, a partial solar eclipse will be viewable in our area. You'll want to get a spot with a clear view of the horizon, like a beach. The eclipse will peak at 5.33 and last until 6.32 a.m. To see what looks like a ring of fire, you'll have to travel north into Canada. Here, it will look more like a shark's fin, as if the moon has taken a bite out of the sun. And of looking at it directly can damage your eyes. So here are some ways to safely watch it. From Boston, you'll see about 80% uh, of the sun's diameter covered by the moon, uh, but the part that's still there is too bright to look at safely unless you have a safe solar filter uh, or a welder's glass number 13 or 14 is something you might be able to get also at a hardware store today. And if you can't get to the store, local astronomer Jay Pasikoff explains there's a simple way to view the eclipse. Also, you can make what's called a pinhole camera where you just punch a hole in a piece of cardboard uh, and hold it up to the sun, then you look away from the sun, and on the wall you should see the shape of the, uh, uh, of the eclipse. And Pasikoff will be going to the extreme to get the best view. He will be one of 30 on an early morning chartered flight to cross the border to see the solar eclipse. For the four and a half minutes of the ring, uh, we'll just be flying in a straight line from southeast to northwest, and and see the, uh, the, the ring eclipse uh, right out the window. And you have seen a number of eclipses in your lifetime. Is there any that stand out to you? Well, always the last one or always the next one. Uh, they're, each is exciting in its, own, in its own way. I'm looking forward to my 73rd solar eclipse tomorrow. I'm meteorologist Sarah Robleski, WBZ News.